for a long time, we've known that there's an association between uh, birth month, uh, generally a winter birth um, in the months of February and March especially, and the development of schizophrenia. So there's been all kinds of um, thoughts to why that might be. But most of the research right now is centered around viruses, um, viruses like toxoplasmosis, influenza, uh, cytomegalovirus, and their relationship um, to schizophrenia. And so it's thought that um, in, uh, maternal infection um, near the time of birth or an infant infection um, just uh, uh, after birth are thought to be related to the, the development of schizophrenia um, in the brain. Those infections are, are more likely to occur in the winter, and so that's why that relationship um, is thought to occur. Uh, the other uh, possible etiology is vitamin D. In the winter, especially in northern climes where, where this association is found, um, we tend to get all covered up, we stay indoors, we don't get as much sunlight, and so um, we have lower levels of vitamin D. That is postulated to be a reason why the brain development might change and uh, give rise to schizophrenia. This presents the possibility that better prenatal care, so vitamin D during pregnancy, protection from viral illness, might uh, lead to better outcomes um, and less risk of schizophrenia, but that research uh, still needs to be done.